Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to integrate Facebook Live Chat into your live streams and expert broadcasters. Stay tuned. Before we get started, if you missed our video on how to set up a Facebook live stream in XSplit Broadcaster, I'll include a link below in the description. This video today will be covering live chat, aka Facebook comments for your Facebook live stream. I was asked this question a bunch of times in that first video of setting up your stream, so I thought I'd cover it today. It's pretty simple, so I'll show you step by step right now. All right, guys, so here we are in Expo Broadcaster. I'm going to show you some of the basic options of setting up the comments or live chat for Facebook here. And again, it will all depend upon your scenes, your layout, whether you're gaming or having uh, some kind of interview show or talk show. But you can change the colors and change the size of the chat room. So I'll show you right now how to do it. Go to Add Source here in the lower left menu and go to the plugin store. So find more sources. I already actually have it installed here, but I'll show you guys where to actually find it in the plugin store. So you can always, of course, search up here for Facebook Live Comments. It does show up on my screen right here as well. Facebook Live Comments right here. This is the plugin you need to show Facebook Live Comments for your live streams. It says this plugin displays a comments feed from your Facebook Live video post. You can also customize your chat display colors, fonts, and text size. So click on this. And then click on install. And once it installs, you're set to go. We'll back out of the store here. So go back down to add source in the lower left. And you'll find a little icon here that says Facebook widgets, hover over that, and you'll see live comments here. You can also install other extensions and sources for Facebook as well. And they will all appear here in this Facebook widgets category. Click on live comments. All right, so this rectangular box here is now our Facebook Live comments or chat room for the live stream. Of course, you can move it wherever you want on your XSplit scene. You can also left click and drag to make it bigger, full screen if you want to, or smaller as well. Again, this will depend upon what you're doing and what you're live streaming. Let's say we're doing some gameplay here so we can put our Facebook chat maybe below our webcam. Let's kind of shrink it down here a little by little. So it gets to be a really good size like this. So we can put it there for the chat room and have our gameplay in this bigger square here. But again, it really depends upon what you're doing for your live stream. So kind of customize it for yourselves. All right, we'll hover over the chat room box and right click. And this is the main kind of options for the plugin. So it says Facebook live comments on the chat tab right now. Uh, it should be authorized already if you already have your account set up through Facebook to live stream. If not, you can also, of course, click this button here. It will take you through the process of logging into your Facebook account to authorize it through XSplit. Pretty easy to do. And now we're back down here to source. This means basically once you go live on Facebook and your stream is actually pushed live for people to see and view, uh, this plugin will automatically connect for chat thus bringing integrating the chat room right into your scene automatically of course if it doesn't you can always click on refresh right here once in a while it may glitch or have a little bit of a bug so come there and click on refresh and it will refresh a plugin for you hopefully updating chat for your stream right click back get this menu back for you guys okay so we also have a little option down here we have some coloring options for the chat box itself. Click in the little down arrow here, showing all the color options here for your chat room. Again, you can kind of customize this for your color scheme and depending upon what you're doing for your stream. Choose maybe a, a good background color that will have the text and messages show up really well. So black may be pretty good for this stream here. You can also make the box more transparent by moving the slider down little by little like this. You see if more transparent there. Or if you want more opaque, you can do that as well by moving the scale here, the slider up the scale to a higher number. There we go. 
Now we also have viewers. This can also be customized for viewer names. Uh, you can have their names show up in different colors from yellow, any color you want, black, white, whatever you want it to be. Of course, the background is black, so let's just choose white for that. And also down here, then the message coloring too can be different as well. That way it kind of makes it very distinctive between the usernames and the chat messages themselves. I'll make them yellow. Cool. You also have options for changing fonts here too, which is really simple. A bunch of fonts, of course, are here. You can mix and match whatever you want to do here for the fonts. Also text size, you can change this here by using little arrows down and up. Change the size to be larger or of course smaller for the chat room. Pretty simple. And then text direction as well. You can have the Facebook chat uh, messages flow from top to bottom or bottom to top, depending on what selection you choose right here. Pretty simple. And we'll click on preview and actually get us, give ourselves a preview of some messages here, which is good. Although we can kind of test it out a little bit. So we have the stream test. So there we go, black background here looks really good. Uh, people's names will be in white and the text is in yellow. So it pops out really nice. You can always adjust the font again here, making them smaller or larger. You wanna make sure it's fairly readable for your scenes and for your live streams. So don't go too big, but don't go too small either. Do use the preview function here, it's really handy. All right, you can also choose to hide user icons or avatars, that's very helpful keeping things minimized and clean. You can also hide timestamps of the messages, cleans up a little bit more. Then you can also hide the chat too, so when it's idle for a number of seconds, the chat room will actually hide off your scene. When somebody posts a message, it will come back up onto your screen. You can choose the seconds here from 30 to whatever you want, or even higher too if you wish to hide the chat room. Then you can also hide connection messages, Pretty much these are the error messages here if it's not connected correctly. You can choose to hide those if you want to. Uh, that way they're not kind of giving you any kind of errors and showing that on screen uh, during your live stream. So a very little hand, handy little function there too. So again, this is just to hide the error messages or connection messages for the actual plugin through XSplit. All right. So that's pretty much it here, guys. A pretty easy way to integrate Facebook Live Chat. Again, you can make this chat box full screen or smaller, whatever you wanna do for your live stream, it's really up to you. Customize the coloring here, the fonts as well, and make it yours. So again, these are Facebook Live comments, but really of course, AKA Facebook Live chat for your live streams. And we'll do one more test for you today. Uh, so I always like doing things, uh, kind of previewing things, but also doing a test live stream. So we can do that for you guys here today. Go to broadcast. I'm going to click on Facebook Live here. And when you do a test live stream, of course, make sure you test it out so it's only viewable by you. Don't make it public, otherwise people will see you testing and it'll be a really awkward experience. So here we go. New live privacy. Of course, only me. That means only I can see the live stream. And we'll start the broadcast. All right, so we are now live streaming my Facebook live page. We're doing a test live stream, only viewable by me. So I'm going to go to my phone over here and actually load this up for you guys. And I'll send a few messages in chat on the live stream. Uh, we can see kind of go into the feed here live in XSplit uh, for the scene. So here we go. All right, so we are actually live right now. There it is has a little lock, which means it is, of course, only viewable by me. I'm going to go into the comment section here to the chat, of course, and type in test live stream. Of course, the mic's also picking it up as I talk because I have my audio on on the phone. Cool. Turn that on mute. So there is our message, guys. Test live stream. Hello. Hello. Hi everyone, we are live. So this is just one more way of testing out how it looks on stream, giving you more of an actual feel 
because uh, this is an actual live stream, just viewable by me, of course. That way you can kind of adjust the colors again, the sizing, the transparency as well. Whatever you need to do for Facebook Live comments or Facebook Live chat in your live streams with Expo Broadcaster. Hope you guys found this very useful. And that wraps up this episode of the Tech Eddie Show, how to set up your Facebook Live comments or chat. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button for us as well and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray, and we'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.